are recording. Hi, Victor. How are you? Hi, Mina. I'm fine. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, my name is Victor Chu Wong, and I'm the publisher along uh, with my business partner, Josh Cheecher. We uh, run a magazine for small business called Make It Business Magazine, and it's the leading BC publication dedicated to small business success. So that's kind of my professional life. Perfect. Can you tell us about the URL, so how we how we can get there and how we find your magazine? Yes, it's www.makeitbusiness.com and um, it can be found at uh, our biggest distribution partners at the moment are Staples uh, throughout British Columbia and also you can find us at any Blends Coffee location and then we're at all kinds of other places like uh, Small Business BC, um, West Coast Air soon and uh, anywhere where small business congregates basically. So we do about uh, uh, 22,000 a month at the moment, or every two months, excuse me, at the moment. Perfect. So what inspired you and Josh to uh, get started on Make It Business? Well, uh, a number of years ago, uh, I met Josh and, uh, and I had this idea. I was a journalist in a previous life and uh, I had this idea to start a publication. I didn't know it would be Make It Business. and, uh, and it wasn't Make a Business, it was originally called The Office Journal, but uh, we did a brand change about three years ago. And um, I, I think it was just uh, a need, like a lot of entrepreneurs, uh, for independence, to be just outside of your nine to five job or even a management job and uh, working for oneself and building equity for oneself and, and having uh, control over your fate, I guess, more than anything else. So you see a lot of small businesses and you've seen the ebbs and flow of the economy. Um, do you have any advices for entrepreneurs and small business owners at this time? I, I think whether it's a good economy or, or it's a bad economy, there's no good time or bad time for business. There's always opportunity. And I think um, the advice I would have for any entrepreneur, no matter what stage they're at, is to, to be constantly refining what they are, what they do, and what service that they're providing for the customer and how, th how they can really serve their customer. At the end of the day, it's not about, oh, we're a magazine. It's about, oh, how are we helping our small business readers? How are we helping our advertisers? Uh, you know, that's the question we ask ourselves all the time at the magazine, and, and that's what leads to uh, the constant refinement. And it's never the same from one month to another because the conditions of the market are always changing and more importantly the conditions of the inside of your brain are always kind of changing so you're always learning and you're always uh, improving your product whether it's a, a, a widget or a service that you're providing for your customers at the end of the day I think the most important thing is to look at what your customers are doing get feedback from them and, and how you can improve your product because there's always someone else out there who's ready to eat your lunch if you're not moving I like that now. Eat your lunch. You must be hungry. Um, so, if you can go back in time and um, tell yourself or give yourself an advice about business, what would you tell yourself? Well, um, I would probably have gotten um, been a little more active about getting outside help. Uh, for example, uh, I had mentioned earlier that we originally started as the Office Journal. And that was, uh, you know, it was my baby, and it was like, oh, this is such a great idea. And in the end, it was an okay idea, and it wasn't fully formed. And uh, it required that we uh, change course three years on to to make a business and focus more sharply on the small business market. But at the end of the day, there's there's no way to really know what you don't know, right? The the only way to, to find out is is to do it. And um, Guy Kawasaki, who uh, is an author and also one of the uh, early members of Apple when it started, uh, has a book called The Art of the Start. And uh, he has a, a pretty famous saying, which is basically, good enough is good enough. Just do it, you know, waiting for perfection, you know, it's like you can be waiting a long time doing nothing. So the key is just to keep moving and, uh, and things will evolve when you make the time and devote the energy to moving toward your goal. Um, there's an analogy I like to give when uh, when I'm giving talks to entrepreneurs and I ask the question, you know, if you're flying from here to Honolulu, how often do you think you're actually on course? And, you know, the answers will range anywhere from you know 90% of the time to 50% of the time. 
but actually you're on course only 5% of the time. The rest of the time the navigation system is self-correcting. So it's off course, correction, off course, correction, off course, correction. And I think that's a, that's a really good analogy for business because most of the time you're just going toward kind of the general goal of, of Honolulu. But a lot of the times you're just trying things, making errors, correcting, trying things, making errors, correcting. And, uh, and if I'd known a little bit more about that, probably at the beginning, we'd probably be in a, in a better position today. But, you know, there's no crying over spilt milk, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview. Again, it's www.makeitbusiness.com. Thanks, Victor. Thanks, Mino. <laughs>